you watch our previous video about sensory cortex and motor cortex in this video you're going to answer three other questions question number one how does the brain of your masters and your differ question number two when your master teach you something what has changed in your brain question number three for the three steps learning what actually happened in your brain now let's uh, look at this familiar chart we have the last time we discussed the motor cortex and sensory cortex the input come from the various sensor into sensory cortex and go to a processing and generate the output and go out the motor cortex to control your movement so what is the difference between you and your master your master upon receiving a sensor input his decision is say relaxing your decision upon receiving the same signal your decision is push that means there's a substantial difference in the processing in your brain your master give a different answer than you in big picture that's what is the difference let's look at the detail inside what are the inside so there are million millions of uh, neuron in your brain this is a example of one neuron and how this neuron connect to another neuron the output of neuron here is called axon. Axon connect to dendrites of another neuron. The dendrite has a multiple input. Multiple input from different, for example, this is from this new neuron, and this input is from different neuron. So this is a detail of an intersection at this dendrite at the receptor there's a synopsis the synopsis has a strength the sum of all the synopsis for that one particular neuron would determine upon the stimulus whether that neuron will fire or not so when you do a training you are actually adjusting the synopsis the value of the synopsis will determine whether this will fire. There's a threshold on each neuron. If the sum of the synapses is higher than the specific threshold, that neuron will fire. So the second question we have is when you master teach you something, you master give the proper activation, whether you should activate your training is about adjusting those synapses <coughs> which is the strength the chemical strength so let's uh, next look at the three steps of learning the first step is explicit instruction from your master the second you are trying to practice and rehearse all the same thing over and over again the third step is automation so let's look at the overall picture in the brain, the three steps, how do they evolve? The number one, you receive an explicit instruction. That's the target, the goal from your master. You're trying to train, you adjust the ways in your brain so that you can generate proper response and send it out to the motor sensory. So this is the loop you are practicing. Second step, upon receiving a, a sensor signal, you're trying to generate the proper response. So you, when you do so many times, your goal is the third one. Without your planning, without any other involvement, the neuron can activate directly from the sensory to the motor without your involvement. That is your final goal. 